a Kid Power Productions 2015. Hey guys, it is Pink Girl here, and today I'm so excited about what's going on because, as you know, I have a baby life on Rosella, and she, her hair is like driving me crazy. It's really unhealthy and grimy, and it's just like, ew, I can't even think about it. So, today is the day I finally decided to fix her up a bit, and I've been searching. I'm like, oh my god, maybe I'll do a downy dunk to her. So, I decided to do a downy dunk. So I said, how about I take you guys on my hair journey and show you guys how to do a downy dunk. So what you're going to need is you're going to have to put your doll in the sink because this can get really messy. You're going to need um, some downy, of course. That's why it's called downy dunk. Or um, I don't know if you can use another fabric softener, so don't go and say, hey, this girl said you can use another fabric softener because I'm not completely 100% sure because I'm not a professional. I just learned this today. But you do need some downy to dunk your hair, your, your doll's hair in it. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to brush her hair out and I'm going to dampen it with some spray and comb it out with this brush um, because her hair, I don't want to do the downy dunk until her hair is nice and straight because you need to comb it out after you're done but I'll get to that part later so what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna spray her hair to dampen it because I don't want to put it under the sink because then it's just gonna drench her hair and I don't want that so just dampening her hair a little bit and sorry for this lighting is really bizarre I don't know what's going on in this bathroom but whatever anyway um, I'm just combing out her hair Her very unhealthy hair. Okay. Okay, so now since I finished combing out her hair and it's nice and straight, um, I'm going to do the downy, but note this. You don't have to do this step, but I do recommend combing your doll's hair out um, so that it's easier to do when you're dunking it. And I'm just adding a little bit of extra spray at the ends because her ends are what's driving me crazy the most. So let's get started with putting her hair inside of the downy. Okay, so what I also forgot to say in the beginning is that you guys should watch the whole video before you start because there might be some reminders that I put in the middle of the video. So, anyway, I also forgot to say that you need a spoon. Um, you don't need one, but I really recommend using it and you'll see why. So yeah, you don't need to put a lot of downy in your tub or your container, whatever you're using. You just need some. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to just place her hair inside of the tub where the downy is. Okay. And oh. yes. Okay, we're having some technical difficulties. So what I did just now was, you can't see, I put a bunch of books um, so that she could be leveled with the tub. So you guys probably should do that um, so that she doesn't fall. Anyway, I'm now time for what the spoon is for. So dunking your um, doll's hair in the tub isn't enough because only the ends get wet. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some downy into the spoon and just kind of drip it on the doll's hair. Um, if you're doing it to American Girl doll's hair, you don't want the wig to get too much wet with the downy because getting your doll's wig wet will, will loosen it up and it will eventually make the wig fall off no matter how gentle you are with the doll's hair. And then your doll, of course, clean beat the bald, and she would probably have to, you would probably have to let her dry and re-wig the doll and everything, and you don't want to do that, because it's a lot of work. 
So try not to get the doll's wig too wet. And also, if you do that, your doll's hair will never get the dot dotty smell out. And if you're using a high smell, like a really scented one, then it's not going to be very good. So, yeah. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking Donnie and putting it all over her hair, even in the back because I miss that because it's all dry back there. So I want to get that all in. Even though the back isn't, isn't even that messed up, I still want to do it to help soften all the hair. So one reason why I said you're going to need to do this near the sink is because I actually did make a mess. Um, so yeah, and it's perfectly normal if you make a mess. I, no one's expecting you to be perfectly clean because this is like kind of a craft, but a hair craft. So I'm just also using this food to get all her hair in and kind of making sure all the hair is, you know, inside. So I was going to do this first on American Girl's hair, but I'm like, I'm really afraid that I'm going to get the doll damaged, so let me just practice on a doll. And I said, what about Rosella? Rosella's really damaged and everything. So this is, I do totally recommend doing that. And if you are afraid that you're going to get some downy in the eyes, just tape cotton balls to their eyes when they're closed, of course. Um, yeah. Okay, doing this just to make sure everything's in here. Okay. Down time for the part that no one likes. Waiting. Okay. So here's how this goes. It depends on how much you want your doll's hair to be in the downy. It depends how much it's damaged and everything, so whatever. And, um, so I'm going to leave Rosella's in for a day because it is 4.04 p.m. right now. Um, and I, and I just want it to be good and I want to see the turnout. So when I am finished with her hair tomorrow, um, I will show you what it is like and how to the next step is and how to wash it out and stuff because that is one of the most important parts of doing this so that the doll's hair doesn't get all crummy and greasy with the downy so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow when i finish rosella's downy dunk okay hey guys it is pink girl wait Hey guys, it is Pink Girl, and I am going to be showing you guys how to do, how to do, um, how to wash out the Donnie Duck. So, here I have Rosella, and I put another Barbie doll in there, because my hair is really weird. And, um, you don't need to keep them inside of the bathroom that you did it in. You can leave them on the floor in your room and it should be fine but like just like you can put if you're like nervous about putting it put the, putting them in your room you can um put a towel down and then put the tub with the downy and the doll so um what you're going to do is you're going to um is you're going to wait just a sec, okay Technical difficulties. Okay, what you're going to do is you want to make sure that your doll has the last couple of doses of the dowdy. So like, keep pouring the dowdy here. You're gonna want to keep getting the dowdy from the from the thing from the tub, and you're going to want to keep pouring it on the doll just to make sure the last couple of doses are in. And you'll see that like. So the dowdy looks like it disappeared. It's not because it evaporated or anything. It's just because it's been soaking in their hair. And their hair is containing on most of the dowdy. So the dowdy didn't go anywhere but their hair. So after you do that, um, okay, so what you're going to want to do, it's going to want to have a towel nearby. I was really stupid, and I didn't get a towel. So here, let me get the towel right real quick. All right, I got my towel. 
So you're going to want to spread it on the floor. Here. You're going to want to spread it on the floor right below the sink because you're going to leave your doll hanging from the edge. Not like suicidal or anything. It's not like you're bad taking care of your doll. Just like laying your doll here and then the hair is dripping down after you wash it out and everything. So, yeah. And when I say wash it out, I don't mean like get a shampoo so you don't have to worry about that, okay? Um, when someone said online that you have to wash it out, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so stressful. I have to get shampoo and stuff. But like, then I kept reading and yeah. That's why you watch or read the whole entire thing before you do it. Because if I didn't do that, my... Um, I would have been doing that to Rosella. I would have taught you guys that, and it would be the wrong information that you would blame me for um, messing up your doll. So anyway, it hasn't been exactly 24 hours because it's 7, 5, no, this clock is wrong. It's like 8 something in the morning, but I just decided to do it now because later I'm going to be busy. So... I'm just gonna scrub her hair a little bit more, getting it all in the downy and making sure that, wow, her hair is pretty wet with the downy. I didn't expect it to be that wet, but the more the wet it is, the better, because then the more healthier it is. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna just get the water and rinse it off. I hope you guys can see this because my Case if I back it up anymore, then it's gonna fall into the sink. So, well, the other sink on the other side. So, yeah, you just want to make sure you wash it everything out, but you don't wash it out too much. Okay, so wash all the downy out, but just don't keep washing it and keep rinsing it and stuff. I shouldn't say wash it, I should say rinse it. So, Rinse the downy out, but don't rinse too much out. Look, okay. Rinse the downy out completely, but don't when you're when you feel like you got all the downy out, don't keep rinsing it. But if later you see some downy in her hair, wash it out immediately, cause then it can get all dry, and crusty, and greasy and stuff. So, yeah. Especially by the edges, there could be a little bit that you don't see. So. Yeah. Okay, so I think I finished because it doesn't feel like there's any more downy in her hair. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the water, squeeze her hair out a little bit, not too much, and then I'm going to lay her against the side of the sink. And don't worry if you can't see her right now because I will move the camera. Okay. And I'll rinse out the Barbie doll later, but... Right now, I'm showing you guys how to do it with this. Okay. So now that I have my doll sitting inside, laying... Okay, laying with the down in her hair. I'm just going to comb it out. And if you have a... Sorry. If you have a American Girl doll, you want to use a wide bristle brush, but this is not American Girl doll, so I'm just using a random brush that I use for her. So I'm just combing her hair out to make it, you know, straight and everything to get the softness through, you know, what I'm saying. Okay. And you want to be gentle because the hair is most um, delicate when it's wet, so you want to...